Jai Gurudev. We were talking about the different planets in Vedic astrology. Today we will talk about Mars. The Mars is a fiery red planet. He represents the commander in chief of all the nine planets of the army of Devatas. So Mars uh, rules over Aries and Scorpio. He is exalted in Capricorn. For people who have a very good placement of Mars, they are very courageous, they are very broad minded, um, they are very skillful, they are very skillful at hands, they can uh, do engineering work and they are very brave. Uh, they can go into commander, army, uh, posts like police, defense. So Mars is a very fiery, aggressive planet and if it is well placed, it also gives patience, broad mindedness, patience. Um, and it also represents fire and if you have a good placement of Mars then because it represents earth also then probably you'll have a lot of properties. On the other hand a badly placed Mars uh, results in aggressiveness, uh, blood related disorders, you know, uh, loss of property, lack of patience, narrow mindedness. So uh, these are the, if the, if the Mars is badly placed these are the, these are the qualities. So it is exalted in the natural zodiac sign of 10th house which is Capricorn. So if Mars is placed in the 10th house it gives a lot of digbala. The first house Mars uh, if it is placed it makes you look very young but if it is badly placed it makes you very aggressive and, and uh, jealous of people, blood related disorders, bone marrow related disorders. To get over uh, the bad effect, the affliction of Mars or the bad effect of Mars one can chant Dharani Garbha Sambhutam Vidyut Khanti Samapramam Kumaram Shakti Hastam Tam Mangalam Pranamamyam So we can chant this mantra and uh, wear red and donate chickpeas. Mars is also uh, related to chickpeas. So all these can be uh, done to get over the bad effects of Mars. Jai Guru.